Hello again everyone, my name is Jeff and today we're going to be going through the second part in our Getting Started series with SOLIDWORKS Composer covering the left pane of the SOLIDWORKS Composer window. The left pane in SOLIDWORKS Composer is very important as it is where you will find the various tools you will be using to create your views, create time saving selection sets, and make modifications to various properties. First let's look at the assembly pane. The assembly pane contains your assembly tree with all of your imported assembly components. Rather than digging through your model directly, just as in SOLIDWORKS, you can use this pane to select desired components or groups of components immediately. For example, if I wanted to select the entire tail assembly of this helicopter, rather than control clicking all the individual components of the tail assembly, I could simply dig through the assembly tree and find the tail and select the entire subassembly that way. In the assembly pane, you can also create selection sets which will allow you to reference customizable, commonly used subassemblies or groups of components you need to work with. For example, if I know I'm going to be working with the cabin and engine subassemblies of this helicopter here, I can simply control select both of these two subassemblies and create a selection set. That way I can quickly reference the two of them together all at once. In the assembly tab, you will also find tools for creating hotspots. Hotspots are groups of actors, similar to selection sets, with shared highlight, tooltip, and link properties that can supersede those of individual actors. Hotspots are primarily used to define highlighted selection sets for technical illustration outputs. The next pane by default is the collaboration pane, where you will find all of your non-assembly components that your project utilizes. For example, you can access all the annotations you've authored, calls from your build materials, your cutting planes, cameras, and even your magnetic lines, which can help you to quickly apply the necessary collaborators each view requires. Next is the Views pane. This pane will be integral to the creation of many of the deliverables you will make in SOLIDWORKS Composer. In the Views pane, you can begin creating and managing your views, which will help you to define your image outputs and technical illustrations down the road. Here, you can create a new view simply by pressing the top left Create View button, which will take a snapshot of the camera orientation and actor positions. Say I wanted to give a side view of this helicopter with all of the actors in their default position. I would simply align the camera as needed, and then hit the Create New View button. Now I have a new view that I can begin working with. You can also create a camera view, which will only record the position of the camera and can be useful for applying the same camera view to multiple assembly display states and positions. For example, say I like this side view of my helicopter here and I want to apply it to some other display states that I've already created. I can simply click Create Camera View. Now I've created a camera view of my side view orientation, which I can apply to some of my other display states simply by dragging and dropping. Conversely, you can also record only the positions of your components by pressing the fourth button, which will record only the position of selected actors while maintaining your view's camera orientation. Say I wanted to move this controller here, but keep my camera view consistent. All I need to do is select my controller, move it into the position I desire, select my view, and then click Update Views with Selected Actors. Now my view has been updated with the new controller position, however my camera position has remained the same. The third button on the Views tab with the red dot will allow you to update a view entirely, recording both the position of all actors and the camera's orientation. So say I wanted to change my camera view and then I ultimately needed to adjust the position of my controller. I'll simply change the view, move my controller as needed, select my view, and click update view. And now my view has been updated with the new position of the controller and my new camera view. The Views pane will also allow you to play through your views, in essence previewing how an animation of your views in sequential order would appear. This can be very useful when creating interactive assembly instructions, which you can find a video on on the SOLIDWORKS Composer YouTube channel. Next is the Build Materials pane, which you can use to modify Build Materials descriptions, configure the columns in your bombs, as well as save your changes to your bomb tree. At the bottom left of the left pane is the Properties pane. The Properties pane lets you view and edit properties of selected actors, view modes, and collaborators. For instance, the Properties pane allows you to modify actors' color, opacity, shininess, texture, 
as well as different environment effects. Moreover, you can modify your viewport's background color, ground color, lighting effects, and even the depth of field of your camera view. The Properties pane ultimately allows you to dial in the precise values for your various collaborators, actors, tools, and workshops to help you create the exact deliverable you require. I hope you've all found this video informative, and thank you very much for watching.